Hi folks, welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Dad channel. Today we are gonna to be talking about how to get data off of a dead computer. So if you've got a computer like one of these, it's a dead computer, you've probably already heard it before, do you have a backup? Um, I'm not gonna beat this to death because you wouldn't be here if you had a backup. So if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button down below, give this video a great big thumbs up because we're gonna to try to help you out the best way we can without making this too complicated. So. If you have a computer that won't start, it could be a couple of things. There could be actually something wrong with your hard drive, or it could be something else wrong inside the computer. Your data is probably still okay on your hard drive. You just can't get to it because you can't power up your computer. So we're gonna show you how to get into your computer, get your hard drive out, and get that important data off your hard drive so you can either move it into a new computer or reformat the one you have. So with pretty much every computer, you're gonna to have to figure out how to get to your hard drive. And this is the same whether it's a Mac or a PC, just look it up uh, depending upon what kind of computer you have. Here we have a uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. And this guy has a little screw here and the hard drive comes out right out the side there. So that's for a laptop. A lot of times you'll find these little hatches. This is an older MacBook. You flip it over and in here where the battery is, there's a little compartment there and the uh, hard drive is actually stashed when you're right there. Uh, we're gonna show you in a sec on this big desktop how you're gonna get to it on the big desktop. So most desktop computers are gonna have a side panel like this that can open up. And here on this Dell, there's this little lever. You pull that guy and it pops it open just like the hood of a car. Other ones will have screws along the back. If you can't figure out how to get in, just look up on the internet how to open up the case of your computer. Anyhow, once you're in here, this all looks pretty intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. Um, up here is your power supply. You wanna stay away from that. Uh, but down here in this computer, these are your hard drives. Um, so you don't have to worry about anything else. Those are your hard drives. This is what a hard drive looks like in the raw, out of the computer. And then depending upon what kind of computer you have, the Dells are real easy. They have these little pinch guys. You can just slide the hard drive straight out. Otherwise, you will have to unscrew. Um, and there are cables here that you will have to unclip as well. But your first step is to get that hard drive out of your computer. So here we have a laptop drive and a desktop drive. And from here, the steps are pretty much the same. So follow along. So now it's time to start getting ready to pull all your data off your hard drive. So you've got your hard drive out of your computer, whether it is a laptop drive here or a desktop drive here, and you wanna see what kind of connectors you have on the end. Um, pretty much all newer laptop drives are going to be the same. Same thing with all desktop drives, they're gonna be pretty much the same, unless you have an older drive that has like the old IDE cables, um, which are the big fat ribbon cables. But I'll have links to all the different setups that you'll need in the description below. Um, so you can buy these on Amazon. They can be had from anywhere from five to $10. They're really inexpensive and they are worth it. That's what this guy is. So what this is, this is the device you need. Um, you're gonna plug it right into the bottom of your hard drive right here. So it seats in there and then you plug it straight into your computer. So here we have a hard drive that I pulled out of an older Mac and we have my MacBook Pro here. You do wanna use a, the same kind of system as what you're pulling it out of because they are formatted differently. So if you're pulling a drive out of a Mac, get a Mac to pull the files off onto. If you're pulling it out of a PC, same thing, get a PC to uh, pull the files off onto. And you're gonna plug that into your computer and you'll hear your hard drive here spin up and this is now treating this hard drive like an external hard drive, the same way it would treat a USB flash drive or anything like that. And pretty quickly here, I'll show you, the drive will pop up on your screen. So you can see here after about a minute, the drive mounted, and here is our drive, it's untitled. And uh, we now can go into that drive, open it up, and we can get into our systems and the uh, user profiles here. So you can actually go in, get all of your data that was on this thing and move it onto the new computer and therefore you have it all backed up. So now that we've gotten all that data off of your old machine, we've maybe moved it onto a new machine or moved it onto a new hard drive, there is something we still have to talk about and that is backing up your data. And I'm sure this came up with everybody that you talked to when you told them that your machine had crashed and you may have lost your data, everybody asked you, do you have a backup? And the answer may have been no. So now is the time, spend a couple extra dollars, storage is very cheap now, and go buy yourself an external hard drive like this one. This is a two terabyte hard drive. They are not that expensive. If you don't wanna go this route, there are plenty of online options as well for um, backup storage. You can use Google Drive or iCloud, or you can use one of the many different backup options, but make sure you are backing up your data so you don't wind up in a situation like this again. 
So anyway, if this video was a help to you, give me a great big thumbs up on this video. Leave a comment down below and uh, be sure to share our video. Thanks for watching.